What is going on Radar Force? Today we have another product review. Do not know what episode we're on. It's been a while. Haven't been doing a lot because there has not been a lot. But we are reviewing the stupid <laughs> new release that just came out. The Dragon Ball Z Seasons 1 through 9 re-released for the, I think, third time of this set anyways. And Dragon Ball Super, I think the second or third, I'm going to say second, re-release of the Dragon Ball Super Parts 1 through 10 in a box set. So, to get started, let's throw them both up here in all of their not glory, I suppose. I'm not happy about these. I don't think anybody is. Uh, here they are. Uh, so, you have... Dragon Ball Z Seasons 1 through 9, which is the 16 by 9 season sets that were released ages ago, but in a box set, like the box set we got like two years ago, the Amazon box set number 2 exclusive. Um, I'll bring those out in a minute. But 10 years ago, we got the first set, which is the Amazon box set 1 which you could buy them individually as well, but they come with slip covers on the individual seasons. These do not, just like the last crappy release of the same thing. Now, I have been told that the disc are in these for the Dragon Ball Z sets are actually different than the original. I've never opened my last set, and I'm not going to open this set to confirm, so I don't know if these are the same as the last set which I'll go into more details in a minute when I finish this. But from what I've told, these discs are different than the previous sets, or at least the original set. Not sure about the previous one. Uh, anyway, Dragon Ball Super, it is identical to the previous uh, single parts, 1 through 10, uh, as far as disc art and case art, except they don't come with slip covers. I don't know why. It's very lame. But anyways, let's take a look at the DBZ version real quick. So here we have... Dragon Ball Z, Seasons 1 through 9, Episodes 1 to 291, full uncut, 16 by 9. Which, go figure, they, they for some reason don't release the 4x3. I don't know if they don't have permission to. I don't know what the deal is with that anyway. So, here we got Seasons 1 through 9. We'll show you the uh, side art. And the artwork's cool, don't get me wrong, it's lazy, It's but it's cool. The backs are honestly my favorite because uh, when you have them side by side, they actually make a good image, which I'll show you real quick. Well, not a good image, but they kind of, you know, they're set. They go together really nice. And to me, that's cool. It's just a bummer that they did not release Dragon Ball. Imagine if, that, if it was Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super. I would buy that hands down every time. But they did not do that. So, anyway, we'll continue the artwork here. And this side is cool. It's the it's the Boo Saga, which is sick. I personally love the Boo Saga. And then back to the front. And here we have this... Uh, and, and you're probably going to roast me in the comments. I don't know what this emblem is. Um, it, it could be Master Roshi or it could be um, King Kai's logo. I really don't know. I'm not good at these. I'm not good at that. <laughs> Uh, and then we have the bottom, which funnily enough, does not even say if it's 16 by 9 or anything. Doesn't tell you what the freak are on the disc, which is crazy to me. Uh, but like I said, these discs, and actually I'm going to get the last release. One second. Okay, I'm back. Here is the original Amazon box set, the, the original release when these were Full, uh, originally released seasons one through nine nothing different about these now like i said the disc are apparently coming from a guy that's open theirs the disc are is different i do not have an image can't show you and i'm not going to open mine just to tell you that i'm not even opening to my original because i'm never going to watch these because it's 16 by 9 but anyways disc art's different the original has slip covers they're very lazy didn't even come with slip covers but just to confirm this is the original box that came out in like 2010 i think Something around there. Here we have the box set that came out two years ago. Just to show you. 
This is the Amazon box set exclusive to literally the same thing. I, I honestly don't know if there's any difference. And I can't confirm if the discard on these are the same as these. I'm willing to bet they are, which would explain a lot. Uh, so I'm assuming the discard on these are the same as the new release. I imagine this is just literally an identical release here. I mean, it's really sad to say that this is just copy and paste, really. Just new box art. But don't get me wrong, I'm a sucker for box art. But this is the um, previous release, so we have three releases of the same crap now. Uh, anyways, let's get to Dragon Ball Super. Here we have Dragon Ball Super parts 1 through 10. Uh, so these are exactly identical to the regular Blu-ray parts, except without a slip cover. Go figure. So let's check out the artwork. And I'm pretty mad Funimation sent me one with like a cut in it, which is I have Funimation. I mean, Crunchyroll, I'm like, oh, why do that to me? So annoying. Anyway, because I'm not going to open these. I don't need to. Uh, but I can confirm that the disc art on these are the same as the original parts. Um, same guy that told me the other ones are different. Can He opened both fids. So there you go. Uh, I, do, I do like the artwork. You know, it's still lazy, but I like it. Dragon Ball Super, and then this. I really like the Blue Evolution there. It's pretty sick. And then top, we have another image that I can't read. <laughs> uh, and then the bottom, very lazy. Uh, just Dragon Ball Super. It doesn't tell you the aspect ratio the, or anything. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That is the new releases. Uh, here you go. And... That is it for this product review. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, just to clarify again, the Dragon Ball Z set is 16 by 9. Of course, Dragon Ball Super is 16 by 9. Uh, unfortunately, this is just a re-release of the last product, I'm pretty sure. Literally, I just copy and paste of this set. Literally, I'm almost positive. Uh, but that's it. Uh, they let us down again. The only thing to go for is we have a matching set for dragon ball z and dragon ball super but the sad part is we don't have a dragon ball we if this was a full three-part set that this would be the definitive way other than this being 16 by 9 in my opinion it would it'd be nice to have a full set that matches from dragon ball to z to super plus the movies that would be amazing we've to the, yet to this date had a perfectly pieced together release of dragon ball and it's very sad Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it with that. You guys have a good one. Take care. Peace out. Bye. And be sure to subscribe. Later.